Hey y'all, welcome to Color Roo. And in this video, we are um, coloring in Alice in Wonderland classic coloring. That is what it says on the color on the on the book itself. I got this book from Ollie's, and um, I got it maybe at least two years ago. So right here, I am putting in, <coughs> excuse me, a light green color. And I am using that watercolor palette that I've shown you all um, before in previous videos. Um, again, if you want to know what palette that is, I got it from Amazon. And it is spelled D-Y-V-I-E-L. 42 colors. Um pretty decent um color palette uh if you go to my instagram sometime this week you will see a picture of alice that i actually did a fair skin tone and you all know if you've been here a while that i struggle with fair skin tones so you know that is that is saying something um it's not great but it's definitely an improvement from what I've been able to create before. So I really like this um, um, travel. It's a travel palette. So I will get it again at some point. Um, but I am going to start getting other types of um, watercolor palettes. And maybe even I want to um, also experiment with some um, um chalk pastel so um, we'll see about that but anyway so I um, use this green it is varying shades of a light green and um, darker greens and um, some of them are more lime some of them have a little bit of blue in there so I realized that this was a frog and when you saw me hesitate for a minute I realized that that was a fish that was giving him the letter because I almost painted him green until I realized the mouth was different and I was like oh wait a minute this is that other one's not a frog <laughs> so I had to pause myself real quick um, this here the um, trees are um, in this palette, it's, it has it's all stars with C's, and so that one is um, the tree ended up being a C38, C39, and C42, and C43. So basically, a yellowish brown, um, a brown, and a black. Um, and I just really wanted to keep it very simple colors. Um, I figured that the fish was coming from um, the Red Queen, so probably his uniform would be red. Uh, I left the house alone. I, it was so tempting to want to paint this house, but I was like, uh, he kind of stuffy. He looks like he would be... <laughs> in a regular white house especially with the columns and everything so I left that alone um now you see that I had did some work off camera and now you can kind of see that blue that I worked in that it wasn't on purpose it was actually a mistake but you know whatever it made it darker it did it, it ended up serving a purpose <coughs> of pushing the background and making some shadows in the trees um, I wanted the I have a thing with aged paper so I wanted the envelope to look a little ragged so we I went ahead and added some brown into that um, as well because the, the letter is that lightish brown that I used on the trees, but then I also went in and I did a darker brown to make it a little more aged. Um, and then when I did the fish pans, I realized that I had not used that red um, 
on the jacket. And so I'll, I am going to end up fixing that. And that's a, a thing of not swatching and not doing everything all at once and not writing down any colors. <laughs> and so, you know, that's, that became an issue. Um, I wanted a gold seal and, of course, a red wax um, seal on that envelope. Um, and some gold accents on the messenger's uniform. And then the rest of this is just basically um, tweaking and darkening up some colors, lightening up some colors, really just making some things pop. And that's really all for this video. So um, I appreciate you all for watching. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, um, leave a comment. Um, it really does help the channel. I'm really trying to go and um, broaden this or my audience um, and produce better videos. But this is uh, uh, also a coloring journal journal for me. It's a place where I can keep track of what I've done and my progress and everything. And I am really appreciative of all of you who have uh, been with me throughout the years. And um yeah so thank you all for watching and i will see y'all in the next video uh which will probably be it's it's uh well i don't know what the next video is going to be let me fix that but one of the videos that i'm working on is not actually a disney um page but it looks like the artist was inspired by Disney because when I saw the page, I automatically thought of um, Beauty and the Beast. And then there's another page that I'm thinking that she may have been inspired by um, The Little Mermaid. But I'm not going to do The Little Mermaid. I might later, but my first attempt is going to be Tiana from um, The Princess and the Frog. So you will see those two videos at some point um, in this uh, month. And then, of course, you'll see some other pages out of this book. Um, if I can find any other Disney pages or this pages that I can turn into Disney pages, then, of course, I will be posting those um, during this month as well. Um, in September... I may have a free month or I may do um, teacher inspired or school inspired. I'm not quite sure. Um, it may be a free month so that I can prep for um, Halloween and Inktober, you know. But um, I'll actually Halloween, Inktober and Preptober for NaNoWriMo. <laughs> so um, that will be a busy month. So maybe in September I'll take a free month. But anyway, I'm rambling now. So <laughs> thank you all for watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.